Hello, Sebastian Lucido. Welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. I'm in Hosea uh, chapter 2, but first let's talk about Hosea. So Hosea was a prophet, and God gave him a very, very interesting ministry. He told him to go find a prostitute as a wife. And so he went out and he took Gomer uh, for his wife. She was a prostitute and a harlot. And what God was doing was revealing to Israel how they have been treating God, their husband, how, how they were living in error and adultery. And so Hosea married this woman. And so God worked with him and through her and him to reveal to us and to reveal to them in that day how he works uh, toward those that he loves that belongs to him that, that drift away. So in chapter two, verse uh, six, it says, therefore behold, I will hedge up your way with thorns and wall her in so that she cannot find her path. She can chase her lovers, but not overtake them. Yet she will seek them and not find them. Then she will say, I will return to my first husband for then it was better for me than now. For she did not know that I gave her grain and new wine and oil and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. Therefore, I will return and take away my grain in its time. My new wine in its season will take back my wool and my linen, give to cover her nakedness. I will uncover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers. No one shall deliver her from my hand. I will also cause her mirth to cease. Her feast days, her new moons, her Sabbaths, and her appointed feast. I will destroy her vines and her fig trees, of which she said, there are my wages, where, you know, there are my wages my lovers have given me. So make them a forest and the beasts of the field shall eat them. I will punish her. I will punish her as in the days of Baal, which she burnt incense and decked herself with earrings and jewelries and went after her lovers. But me, she forgot, says the Lord. So, you know, in a nutshell, let's go through this. I know it's a lot for a five minute teaching. But in other words, Hosea's wife now, Gomer, you know, God hedged her in. He, in other words, he set a hedge so she couldn't go outside that hedge. She couldn't find her path. She couldn't go back to her old life. Everything was frustrated. She blessed her abundantly in her early life with her husband, Hosea, where they had, you know, new wine, new grain, new silver, no new gold. But he came in and he took it all away. He stripped her down to nothing. To, and what did he do? He, he really, in verse seven, it says, I will go and return. I will repent. I'll go back to who I was for it was far better for me. And so God does this to us sometimes. Sometimes when we're being blessed abundantly by God and we're living life easy and breezy, a lot of times we'll drift off course and we'll, we'll, we'll be a, an adulterer and adulteress in the world. We'll actually want more things in the world and, and we'll chase the world. And then all of a sudden he'll come in and he'll hedge us in. He'll cause us, he'll even strip us of everything. He did me and cause us to walk in a very narrow way where there's hedges to our left and hedges to our right. And we can't turn left or right and we can't be successful. He takes away the ability to have success. He said, I'll destroy her fig tree. So I'll just take her wages that she earned through her lovers. I'll, I'll take her to the wilderness. Verse 14, therefore behold, I will lure her and bring her into a wilderness and speak comfort to her. You know, what good is a wilderness? You have nothing left, right? It's wilderness, it's barren, but it's in that place where God gets our attention and speaks to us. I'll give her a vineyard from there and a valley of acor and a door of hope. She shall sing there and in that day of her youth as I in the day when she came up of, out of the land of Egypt. And it shall be in that day that she says, and will call her husband, my husband. And so God does that to us. He hedges us in. Again, it's because of love. He, 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 he strips us sometimes of the things that we value the most. It's called pruning. I remember when we got married, I, I tell this in a teaching. In fact, I have a teaching entitled, you know, my mother-in-law killed my roses. Uh, but my mother-in-law trimmed my roses down to the ground. They, they were beautiful. They were almost as tall as I was. I had a, a hedge of rose bushes. And she cut them down so much. I said, she, you know, I told my wife, your mother killed our roses. And she, she pruned them and they grew back stronger. But what do you do when you prune? You take away the beauty. You take away the fruitfulness. You look barren. You're in a wilderness. You look like you lost your life. You lost your identity. You lost who you were or how the world seen you. 
And God does that for a purpose. He does it to get our attention on him and to block out the world and to change the way we think and to get us to return to where he wants us to be. And that's the story of Hosea. It's a great book to study, um, but uh, hopefully you learned something today. You were encouraged, inspired, or explained something in your life. Please pray about joining with us. Please play, pray about pray, about uh, partnering with us for $25 a month or more and getting more information from our website or our phone app. It's all free to you. Anyway, God bless you and have a great, great day. Thanks for watching.